Hi guys, this is Brent Retchko, the Rival Boss, and today I'm going to just do a video on should you buy a Neo Geo Mini uh, International now that they're out on Amazon, or shouldn't you? You know, I've had the, the Japanese model here for a while now, and I have a lot of impressions that I'm going to give you, the pros and the cons. So let's first talk about the cost. If you were to buy an AES system, you're looking at quite a bit of money. Then, you have to buy each cart from the 40 games. You're looking at anywhere from 80 to $150 each. That's $4,000 plus dollars. That's a lot of money. That's a lot more than the 120. Yeah, they might be better looking and, you know, run better, but I mean, come on, that's a lot more money. You can't even really compare those two. Like, of course the original is going to be really good at doing its, what it does, you know? Let's talk about uh, doing it on like a Switch or PS4. Well, First, you got to buy a PS4 or Switch for around $300. Then, you have to buy each one of the 40 games at anywhere from $3 to $40 or $3 to $5. You know, that adds up quick. That's a lot of money. That's more than this little system can already, you know? So, that's kind of, yeah, they might slightly be better, but this is very close to that. Okay, let's talk about some of the pros. Well, first off, it comes in a nice box has a, a great looking little system. The controller is really nice. Um, the screen is great. The uh, controller pads, I can't tell you because I don't have them yet. I'll be getting them when the International comes out. But I've heard they're really good. They feel just like the old Neo Geo CD ones. Um, you know, the screen is amazing. The buttons feel good. Uh, the uh, way you select and go through the menus is really nice and intuitive. You know, you can just push it, goes right in, you can exit. You know, the menu system is really nice. It all works really, really well. Also, you get these nice stickers. Uh, the game selection is amazing. Like, even on the Japanese version that has a lot of fighting games. But that international one that's coming out has a much nicer wider sp spread of games so you know you get a little bit of everything that's a real plus um also the international one has a very neat little light next to the uh, joystick from what i've seen uh, that's really cool too um the power button is really good the build quality of this thing is really good so and it feels really nice in your hands it plays really good the game the joystick is really nice um, I really like everything about this thing. Okay, so now let's talk about some of the negative things. Well, first off, you don't get an extra controller out of the box. You have to buy it separately. And they were, until the new the International came out, very hard to find. So if you are going to get an International, you should buy an extra controller because they go way higher up once they like sell out. And they don't seem to be making a lot of them, like, or at least not the Japanese versions. So I bought two of the uh, international ones. Hopefully, I'm hoping they'll work for the Japanese one, too. More on that soon. What else is bad? Well, it didn't come with an HDMI mini cable out of the box. You had to buy one on Amazon, which was kind of a bummer. $9, no big deal, but still you had to do it. And also, the, you know, the output of that said... Uh, that said uh, output on the system some people like it some people say it's ugly I honestly didn't find it that bad um, but I'm also not crazy like nitpicking I also found out uh, you know you can plug this thing up to a converter that goes from an HDMI to com like a, a component or composite I'm sorry or an S video and I plugged it into a nice old CRT to add some scan lines it looked really good yeah, so, you know, some people say that the soft uh, image filtering and stuff and even the normal filtering isn't the best. And I can see that, you know, it, it isn't as good as like, say, an AES or even maybe a Switch running it. But it's still pretty dang good and it's still pretty quick. And, you know, honestly, for how much time I play it on the little mini screen versus the big screen, this is the way they're intending you to play it anyway, is on this nice little screen that they provided you. It's simply beautiful on this little screen. Another downside. 
you know, they didn't put a mini battery inside of this. Like they could have easily put something that you could charge and then even just take it with you. Uh, just, you know, even if it didn't last more than a couple hours, that would be really cool. But it doesn't. It has to kind of stay plugged in for you to be able to play it. Um, and that's kind of a bummer, you know. But but honestly, you know, it could have, but it also would have increased the price a little bit. So now on a side note, people have taken this thing apart already. It's built pretty well. Um, but there are, you know, they, they, most people think this thing is going to be able to be hacked eventually, where you will be able to add your own games to this. But at the same time, they also noticed that this thing doesn't have a huge memory spot like compared to some other systems. And the, the Neo Geo games in general take up a lot of room. So more than likely, you're not going to get, you know, 500 Neo Geo games on this thing. You're probably only going to get like maybe 60 or 70s, my guess. So, you know, there is room for it to grow later on. But you're not going to go crazy and get like 500 arcade games on this or thing or anything like that. Also, there are people trying to uh, figure out ways to use the USB-C uh, to be able to use Neo Geo X controllers, which will be really cool. There is somebody on YouTube already that has figured out how to do it, it looks like, and says he's going to be making the parts to be able to do it. We'll see if that actually comes to fruition, but it looks really cool if you can. So, there are some negatives, and there are some positives to this system. Should you get one, though, for the $106 to $120? Well, I say yes. I say that this thing is going to be a super collectible item. It plays really fun. It's a good value with 40 games. Yeah, it might not have the best output, but that little screen looks great. I've even heard that the Neo Geo CD controllers are pretty cool. So, yeah, I think you should get this. I think it's a very collectible item that's a good value and lots of fun to play. Yeah, the CD output might not be the best, or the, uh, the HDMI output might not be the best, but the game plays beautifully on the little mini screen they provided. It's really fun with the joystick that they have inserted into the unit. And even the box is really kind of cool. So yeah, if, you, if the Neo Geo Mini uh, International is still up, which even has better games than I feel that this one does, uh, you know, 106 bucks, it's a little bit of money, but I mean, you know, I think it's worth it. I think ultimately this thing is going to hold its value. I don't think it's going to ever go down below that. Uh, I feel like they're just a neat little thing to have. It's a neat little piece of gaming history, if nothing else. And I feel, you know, the downsides to it don't really outweigh how cool the little thing is. Um, and that's, that's my honest truth. So, if you liked this video, please like and subscribe. And I will be giving away one Neo Geo International when I get to a thousand subscribers. I'm a ways off still. But we're going to get there. And I really enjoy making videos for you guys. So thanks for watching. Till next time.